Welcome to OK Managers. Today's video we're going to be making some better battlements. After doing some research on different castle features, I realized that matriculations are actually a very, very important part of the functionality of a tower or castle. So I so I really need to add those in. If you want to know more about castle design, check out this video by Shadiversity. Shad is a architect and he's got incredible insight on basically all things medieval. Alright, so to add matriculations to these towers, we really need to make corbels since matriculations are the holes between the corbels. Now, corbels are the little fancy things that you see basically supporting the battlements. They're usually little arches or something similar to that. Uh, I just decided to go with something simple, basically two stones on top of each other. So to make these, I was going to initially hand carve every single one of these. And as I started doing that, I realized what a huge waste of time that would be. So I took a few minutes, thought of a better way of doing it. And what I came up with was to cut an angle on two pieces of foam and then hot glue them together in the shape that I wanted. So I had a piece of foam that was, I don't know how long, maybe an inch and a half. And I cut it on a, about a 45 degree angle and actually used those two pieces to make the bricks. They weren't the perfect size that I wanted and the cuts weren't great since I was just freehanding the angle using just a normal hot wire guide. So I ended up carving up the bricks a little bit, the two top and bottom pieces until they looked a bit better. And then I used a continuous bead of hot glue to glue them together. And it's important that it's continuous because these are gonna get chopped up into little pieces. If it's not continuous, they're just gonna fall apart. So I set my hot wire guide to about a half inch and sliced these guys up. I would consider making them a little bit smaller, perhaps three eighths of an inch or something like that so that they're thinner and then could potentially fit three to a side instead of just two as is they are a little bit big to put three on a side and they do have a bit the, the matriculation in the middle is pretty large I think it would look better if it wasn't so big after cutting I did need to patch up a bit of my hot glue work since a few of the pieces were a little bit too floppy and that was onto magnets so for the magnets I want these guys to connect between the battlement pieces I've made before and the dungeon tiles. Since my dungeon stackers don't have any magnets in them, I can set a dungeon tile on top of them and then get all the magnet points from that. I decided to put opposing magnets on the top and side, and then I made half of them with one polarity on the top and the other like north on the top and south on the side, and then the others half I made with south on the top and north on the side. This way since the dungeon tiles and battlements have alternating polarity on either side, they aren't the same, these can fit in one spot and hold up the battlements. Then after a quick texturing, it was on to painting. I followed my standard stone painting technique, which is a coat of black paint mixed with Mod Podge, followed by a straight black coat to make the base coat nice and opaque. And then two layers of dry brushing. First was brown and then followed by a gray. After making these, I realized I also need something to fill in the corner gaps. So I just made a couple L-shaped pieces using some magnets to hold them in. And then the magnets will connect to the battlement magnets. Just a note, uh, since these guys are held up by the magnets of the dungeon tiles, if you don't want them, or if you do want them in a different spot, you can use uh, little thin brackets made from metal. Um, I plan on using these for different accessories, so I'm not going to go into it too much right now, but something to keep in mind, you can kind of work around where your magnets are and use these to slide it in between gaps and put them wherever you want. If you enjoyed this video, you might be interested in seeing this one about how to make a modular gate with a working portcullis. With that, I'll see you in the future.